Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retrolectors. And today we're gonna to discuss what makes the Nintendo Switch a great purchase for parents. Stay tuned. With the Nintendo Switch out and almost a year old, parents that are on the fence of buying a new console once they already have a PlayStation or an Xbox already on the mantle, what makes the Nintendo Switch a no-brainer as part of buying for your children. I have a top five list as to what reasons you should buy as a parent a Nintendo Switch for your children. Number five, bad tasting cartridges. When it comes to video game consoles and accessories, Nintendo is your safest brand when it comes to anything they put out. Nintendo thinks outside of the box when it comes to actually developing something for your children. Bad tasting cartridges seems to be an oversight, but Nintendo thought of that as a great marketing tool to help parents buy their games for their children. In case you didn't know, a Nintendo cartridge is about the size of a postage stamp. And kids like to do the darndest things when it comes to anything that they're not supposed to do. Myself being a parent, I find my kids doing the weird and most dumbest things when it comes to doing things that they're not supposed to do. Don't push that, don't touch this, don't do this. You as a parent know what to experience. But Nintendo decided, let's make it a little bit easier for the parents. Let's make it a little bit family friendly, these cartridges. They decided to put a bad tasting sticker on the cartridge for you as a parent to know that when a child puts this in their mouth, they're not gonna like that taste. An oversight by many, even by myself, when I first heard about this, I was like, well, that's kind of weird. Why would they do that? And then when you actually step back and think about it, that does make sense. So as a parent, I know that these cartridges are safely away from my kids' mouths and only go where they're supposed to go. And that's in the console itself. Number four, child assist mode. Being my parent myself, I know that it's hard enough to get some time to actually sit down and enjoy some television or whatever. So while you're doing your daily activities or daily duties as a parent, you know your child wants to play a video game. So Nintendo thought of child assist mode, a great little feature when it comes to Mario Kart or even Super Mario Odyssey. Being able to play Mario Kart and not fall off the side of rails or playing Odyssey and having a direct path guided to you as a child is something that most companies would overlook. With Sony and Xbox trying to make hyper-realistic games, Nintendo brings back the fun of video games, exploration. Being able to go without no repercussions off the beaten path, a child can do whatever he wants in that said sandbox game. Myself doing daily duties, I can't devote that much time to actually helping my children figure out a path or figure out what next to do. With child assist mode on, they can do it for themselves. They can actually figure out and feel accomplished when it comes to finishing and beating video games. Number three, handheld mode. It's not very often when we parents get a chance to sit down and watch our favorite channel on TV. With our day-to-day -day activities and trying to get our kids into a routine, when we actually sit down and enjoy some television, our children tend to take over those televisions with their channels or with their video games that are on screen. With handheld mode, your child can actually play while sitting down on the couch on the little tablet itself. And you as a parent can actually enjoy your television that you were dying to watch for the last week. I know this is a selling feature for myself because when I get a chance to sit down and watch TV, my child tends to take the remote away from me and change it back to whatever they want. But with Nintendo thinking about the handheld mode, this seems to be a no brainer. They could do what they want and I get to do what I want and that's watch TV. Number two, couch co-op. My fondest memory of video games is not me playing by myself on the couch. It's me playing with my friends and family members on the couch. Couch co-op was a huge selling feature when it came up to me growing up as a gamer. Fighting for the best controller, Fighting for the best character was some of the greatest parts of video gaming in my memory. Now, I could actually share that with my children. Playing a single player game on a console is fun and all, but the Nintendo Switch allows you to separate two separate controllers and give it to a player one and a player two. The Nintendo Switch brings back some of that nostalgia that we had as children and shares it with your children. Being able to detach two controllers and hand it to two different players is something that Nintendo wanted right out of the bat and for us to actually be able to play with a family member or with a child on the couch. Number one, two players right out of the box. Much like the couch co-op, this goes hand in hand. Two players out of the box is something that no other console is doing right off the bat. Both Sony and Xbox only come with one controller. And if you have two children battling for one controller tends to be an ear sore. It's one less thing us parents have to deal with and that's fighting. So it seems the Nintendo Switch is a no-brainer when it comes to a parent buying for their children. Their games are child-friendly, they're easy to jump into, accessible, and fun to play even as a parent. Please let me know what you guys think. Are you guys in the market for a Nintendo Switch? If you are, my top five reasons are an added bonus as to why you should buy a Nintendo Switch for your children. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.